Well, how about this for an amazing story? 25 years after his Crucible debut, 23 years after his second appearance in the semi-finals, the Angles is back. Alan, this is what great sport is all about. It's about the improbable becoming reality. You've beaten a four-time world champion, a great mate of yours. Are you pinching yourself? Uh, uh, not just yet, because it's still fresh in the memory, but it, it really is a, a turn up for the books. I, I, I guess you've got to say that, but um, I'm, <laughs> I'm just delighted. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've got a chance to play in one table out there again, as you say, 23 years after I, I last played in, in, in that environment. So it's just going to be awesome. And you deserve to be there. You've played great snooker in a match against a guy who so often has come here and conquered all. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little bit proud of myself. I, I know John didn't bring his best game, I know that. Um, so I'm going to have to brush up on some things for what's to come. But I played all right in patches. And um, if I can, uh, you know, be a little bit more consistent and, and be a little bit more mindful out there of, of what my job is, then I can, um, I think I can play well the next few days. Did you have a feeling today, because you've been here and you've performed at the highest level and, and you've beaten your good mate Stephen Maguire, mm -hmm. you came through a massive match uh, against Ali Carter, did you have a feeling this morning that, that something special might happen today and tonight? I, I, strangely enough, I did. I, I, not for any other reason than I thought, I'm playing well enough to, if I get the chances, I, I, I can take a few and get and get over the line. I knew I wouldn't be frightened of getting over the line um, because I love playing out there. It doesn't... That doesn't really bother me out there. Um, it's early on in the match, I think I sometimes tend to struggle to, to get myself going. Towards the end of it, actually, I feel more comfortable. I always have done. Um, and I've won a lot of close encounters here. So, uh, aye, um, I, 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 it's difficult to really say too much right now because I'm, I'm still on a bit of a high. Uh, but I know there's an awful lot of hard work still to do, but I'm very, very grateful for the position that I find myself in. Hey, listen, let's luxuriate in the moment, because when I spoke to you after the last round of qualifiers down the hill at Ponds Forge, mm. I said to you, does it still mean as much? And you said, yeah. well, listen, not really. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Still, I'm still very proud to get here, but I'm at a different phase of my life. I've moved mm. on. It's nice to be there, mm -hmm. but it's not the be-all and end-all. Do you yeah. actually think that that relaxed attitude has helped you to once again get down to the to the holy grail environment, the one table setup. I, I think it has. I've I've played the last five or six years like that. I, I'm trying to just be relaxed about it because we can all get wrapped up in our games and our, our lives and and stress and uh, all that goes with that. And I've tried to look at the, my snooker and just said, look. Don't worry too much about it because it's not the be all and end all. And when you do get stressed out, you can. That's when you won't won't perform. And uh, I, I I still work hard at my game. That's the thing that I I've always religiously had. And I like hard work. I, I enjoy hard work. And um, yeah, I, I I guess sometimes it pays off. And and to, tonight was one of those nights. I think. Yeah, it, this is a great story. You're the oldest guy in the semi-finals for 35 years. Yeah. This is what top quality sport is all about. And yet you're, you're continuing to, to take it all in the tartan stride. Well, I am. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, strangely enough, I've, I've only worn the, the tartans once this week. And um, I've got a thing about that it's a bad omen. But I th I've got to give them an outing now in, in, in the semi-final. And I'm sure I will do. Um, you know, just simply for my country, which I love deeply. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll hopefully put those threads on, and, and they'll perform a little bit better than the last time. Yeah. And how much more do you think you'll appreciate the one table setup compared to 23 years ago, when you yeah. you know you made two yeah. semis in your second and your third year at the Crucible, and yeah. maybe it all came a little bit too easy, but but presumably <clears> this time you'll appreciate it in a whole different way. Oh, there's no question that I will. Um, I, I actually have very few memories of, of playing in the semis here all those years ago. Um, so you can be sure that tomorrow and, and the, the next three days I'll, I'll, I will take it in and because uh, I've got almost zero memory. I, I, I think the only memory I have is I played Stephen here, the first frame I broke off, he smashed a long red and made 100. And then the next minute I was shaking his hand, that's what it felt like. 
So to to you know, I, I had a little moment today. I, I, look, I looked out there in the arena. The wall went up, and John was at a table, and I just I, I just admired his technique and his everything about him as a player. I mean, and it, it was silent out there. We were the other table was gone. It was it, it, there was a little moment where I thought this is just awesome. I just absolutely loved it. You know, it was. It was a moment, and I, th you know, sometimes in, in in your work or your whatever it is you do, in a sport or or whatever, and you think there's a moment where I'm going to remember this, and I and I, I'll remember that moment because John's a special guy to me. Apart from being a snooker player, he's a he's a special special person, as you know, Rob. How how what kind of guy he is, and uh, privileged to play him to to come out and top in the match against him he is even better. Well, he'll have great years to come, of mm, course. No, your your great season and your great campaign continues tomorrow. The best of luck against Ding. This is one of the best stories we've had at the Crucible in recent years. Congratulations. Thanks, mate.